Hi, I am Tzachi Levent Levy of Blog Geek Me, and I'm here to help you with what to look for in the live video platform. We'll start with a quick introduction to understand what it is that we're doing here exactly. One thing to remember, and this will go throughout this series in each and every one of these videos. Live video is really, really hard. If we are going to use that, it means that there's a lot of complexities that we need to take into consideration. Now, to start it off, I want to give a simple explanation of why that is, why it's really hard. When we talk about live video, we're usually talking about HD video or high definition video. If you look at the resolution that is required for a single frame, it's usually 1920 pixels on the width, over 1080 pixels on the height. That's like the resolution we need for an HD video display. If you do the calculation, that's around 2 million pixels, which is quite a lot. Now, we don't do it only once. We need to send multiple such frames every second. Usually, that will be 30 frames per second. And if you do the calculation again, that's over 60 million pixels every second. That's what our machine needs to do. That's the amount of processing we need to handle when we run a live video. Okay? So it's quite taxing on the machine that we have. It's taxing on the CPU, it's taxing on the memory, and also on the network. It means in the end that HD video or live video is a game of compromises. There are different things that we need to compromise when we go and do live video. The first thing is processing power. That's what is available to us in the devices that we are using for that process. Then we've got the network conditions, which we don't control. We don't own the networks that our customers and users are going to use when they run live video. We can only try to adapt to these networks. The third part in this triangle is the video architecture that we are using in the backend. How the system behaves, how it interacts, and how we've built the platform itself to support live, live video. For me, it means that if you go and check your decisions, are you going to build a system or to build a platform on your own or to buy a pre-existing one, I am usually in favor of buying one. That means going to a video platform as a service vendor and using his services in order to run your application. It means that you need to think less about video and have someone else do that for you. So how do we pick a platform? What is it that we need to do and what are the parameters that we need to look at when we go to make such a decision? It ends up being a game of compromises. These video platforms are different from one another and they have different architectures in them that deal with different network conditions and are capable of running in different processing power envelopes. So join me to this series where we're going to explore how to pick a live video platform from different aspects of it. See you in the next video.